when I got the test back from the teacher and like I talked to her about it, she said um, all the all the other students also made these mistakes, but you know they didn't make it all in one test. You know, today I'll be discussing the Chinese grammar structure that I struggle the most with. Keep in mind that I don't really fully understand what I'm describing today, so I might be totally off in, on my explanations, so don't quote me on any of this. Okay, cool. I'm mainly doing this to try to connect to other language learners who are also struggling, so please feel free to share your struggles as well down in the comments. The sentences I struggle with usually contain a the. This character is usually used to uh, indicate possession of an item, to modify or imply a noun, or to create emphasis on a declarative sentence. The part I struggle with is how it is used to create emphasis. And in those cases, it's usually equivalent to the words who or that. For example, wo mama zuo de cai would be translated as the food that my mother makes. As you can see, the in Chinese, the first part of the sentence in English is then put on the end in Chinese. So the food is like the last part, which is Thai. So basically when I'm translating from English to Chinese, I am just translating along, like listening or reading along with the Chinese. And then I see a duh and I'm just like, oh great, now I gotta move some stuff around. It's kind of very confusing and disorienting for me. There can also be a lot of stuff before the duh, which can make it even more confusing for me. And it's one of the main reasons I did really badly on one of my exams. When I got the test back from the teacher and like I talked to her about it, she said, um, all the all the other students also made these mistakes, but you know they didn't make it all in one test. You know, I don't even remember most of the other stuff that I got wrong or anything because this one was just so freaking bad. Here's an example of a more complicated sentence from one of my classes, so that you can see what I'm kind of dealing with. Perhaps I can discover my own interests from among these classes. If I translated the Chinese directly word for word, it would be, perhaps I can, from among these classes, discover my own interests. So it starts out the same, but the middle and ending parts of the sentence are switched. I think that this structure is trying to emphasize the my interest part, which is like after the duh, but not really sure. So yeah, this is one of the main sentence structures I struggle with. It's definitely easier for me to catch while reading rather than listening. Anyways, thank you for listening. Bye.